You're watching news that gets to the point. This is KATC TV3, Acadiana's news channel. The city of Youngsville is growing by leaps and bounds, but can the infrastructure keep up? Good evening, everyone. 500 new homes are expected to be built in Youngsville over the next five years. Although he's happy about it, Mayor Wilson Viatar is also concerned. KATC's Suzanne Ferreira found out why. Here's a look now at news making headlines parish by parish. Injures plans to meet with his attorney next week, but has no plans on making his yard conform. In Lafayette Parish, a former Morgan City priest faces a minimum. Team 3 Weather Lab will tell us what we can expect when we come back. Had a good time tonight at 6, an update on the weather situation. Thank you, Rob. All right, we'll be watching. Thanks, Rob. Coming up tonight at 6 on Acadiana's News Channel. The U.S. Attorney's Office and Acadiana Police Departments hope these billboards will make our neighborhoods safer. I'm KTC's David Dockham. I'll have all the details coming up in a live report at 6. But coming up in this newscast, students at Lafayette High School are studying... Welcome back, everybody. The Cathedral Carmel Band just returned from Atlanta, where it received top honor. May, you can be a heart starter. It's not too late to sign up for CPR Training Day at the Cajun Dome. Plus, the Bishop's Charity Gala is looking for sponsors. Find out how you can participate. Also, the Acadiana Outreach Charity Challenge. Back to you. Dave's getting a tan. <laughs> Let's take a look now at the final numbers from Wall Street. alone. The numbers are high in a new poll that finds Louisiana voters really want to put a stop to cockfighting in our state. We'll have all that and a whole lot more tonight on Acadiana's News Channel at 6. Julie. Well, listen to this one. J-Lo's mom is a lucky lady. That's not fair. Uh, <laughs> but as Stephanie Omiji said in the newsroom, just because J-Lo's got it doesn't mean she was giving any to mama. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So that's mama true. had to get You never know. Anyway, you never know. Let's get out of this. <laughs> that's it for Acadiana's News Channel at 5. Thanks for watching. We'll be back in 30 minutes with the latest in news, weather, and sports. ABC World News Tonight and Peter Jennings are next. I still say it's not fair. <laughs> Foundation will join us. GMA Wednesday. You're watching news that gets to the point. This is KATC TV3, Acadiana's news channel at 6. Law enforcement officials and community leaders are hoping this board will help to make a difference in Acadiana communities. I'm KTC's David Dockey. I've got a live report from the corner of Evangeline Thruway and 13th Street coming up. Strong thunderstorms move through Acadiana. We'll have the very latest. In the last 24 hours, up to 15 U.S. troops died in some of the heaviest fighting in Iraq in almost a year. Good evening, everyone. It looks as if a break in our dry spell is coming with an exclamation point. So let's turn to Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo with a heads up on some potentially rough weather bearing down on us. Right, Rob? That's right, Hoyt. Some strong thunderstorms moving on through. Power Doppler 3000 indicating.